So hi, my name is Miranda Peterson and I'm a yoga teacher based in Asheville, North Carolina. I actually did my 200 hour yoga teacher training in India and I've traveled to over 40 countries around the world. So I've definitely spent a lot of time on airplanes. A lot of times when you get on a plane, you're not in the best state of mind. Maybe you're stressed, you're rushing to get to the airport and get through security on time. Maybe you have some anxiety about flying. So these breathing techniques will help calm the body and the mind and relax the nervous system. We'll start by just taking a comfortable seat. You can do this in an airplane or an airport chair. You just rest your hands on your knees. Maybe close your eyes or you can keep them open either way. Just start to take a few breaths, some inhales and exhales through the nose. And the longer you extend these inhales and exhales, the calmer your body will become. Maybe you even want to bring a hand to the belly and a hand to the chest so you can really connect with the breath. So on the inhales, really try to send that breath deep down to the diaphragm, feel the belly expand. And on the exhale, feel the belly contract as the air comes back out. And take a few more inhales and exhales. And yoga means yoke or unity, unity between the breath and the body. This really helps us become present and not worry so much about things that happened before or things that might happen later. So by focusing on the breath, you become very present and more relaxed. And let's see if we can start to lengthen the inhales and exhales by counting. So let's start with three. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. And inhale for one, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. And feel free to stick with any of those lengths of inhale or exhale that works best for you. Take a few more deep, relaxing, cleansing breaths. It's really important to move your body before, during, and after a flight. So I came up with a series of gentle yoga inspired movements that you can do in the comfort of your airplane seat or a seat in the airport. Let's start with the shoulders. So we'll just inhale the shoulders up, bring the shoulders up towards the ears. On the inhale and exhale, let's shoulders relax down the back. We'll do that two more times. Inhale, shoulders up. Exhale, relax the shoulders. One more time. Inhale, shoulders up. Exhale, relax the shoulders down the back. Take an inhale and exhale, bring the chin down towards the chest. And the next inhale, start to roll the left ear towards the left shoulder. And you'll feel a stretch in the right side of the neck. Take another inhale and then exhale, roll the right ear towards the right shoulder. 
You feel a stretch in the left side of the neck. And then maybe roll the chin across the chest a few times on each side, a little bit of dynamic neck movement. And maybe roll the head all the way around. Inhale as the head rolls back. Exhale as the head rolls forward. And let's do a few in the opposite direction. Inhaling. And exhaling. Okay, and then come back to center. So yoga is really great for your spine and there are six directions that our spine is naturally able to move in. Inhale the arms up. And we'll just grab the right wrist with the left hand and just pull that right arm over towards the left. Feeling a stretch in the right arm and the right side body. And then we'll switch. We'll gently clasp the right, the left wrist with the right hand. Inhale the arms up and stretch over towards the right slightly. Feeling the stretch in the left side body. You can relax the hands. So we'll do a gentle twist to each side. On the inhale, bring the right hand to the left knee and gently look towards your left. We'll take a breath or two here. Inhale back to center and exhale, twist to your right, bringing the left hand to the right knee and gazing towards your right. And inhale back to center. On the inhale, start to arch your back, bring your navel forward. Shoulders come back. This is kind of a seated cow posture. And then the exhale, kind of round the shoulders and round the spine, coming into a cat posture. Let's do that a few more times. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling forward, exhaling back. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And then come back to center. Actually, the purpose of yoga asana, the physical movements that we know today, were created to prepare the body to sit for long periods of meditation. So yoga is actually a great preparation for a long road trip or airline flight. Something else you might want to do is to stretch out the shoulders and the back. So you can do this by bringing the right elbow up and then gently bringing the left hand on top of the right elbow. This is gonna stretch out the tricep and the shoulder Let's take a few breaths here. Make sure your spine is nice and long and stable. And then we'll switch to the other side. So you can bring that left elbow up, gently press the right hand on the left elbow. And take a few breaths here. And then 
relax. And then we'll just roll the wrists here. So it's gonna lubricate and loosen the wrists. These hand and wrist movements are really good to do, especially if you've been working on a laptop or using a cell phone, anything with fine motor movement. And relax. Next, we can lubricate the elbows. So you can bring the arms up, palms facing the sky. And on the inhale, bring the fingers towards the shoulders. On the exhale, extend the arms forward in front of you. Inhale. And exhale. Three more. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And then rest the hands. Then we'll start to lubricate the shoulders a little bit. So you can bring both hands to the shoulders and then just make little circles in front of you with your elbows. Imagine you have paint brushes tied to your elbows. You're just painting little circles in front of you. Reverse, do a few in the opposite direction. Remember to keep breathing. Relax the arms. Let's take a few breaths here to notice how the body feels. You feel calmer. Come back to the breath and the body. And now that we've moved the upper body, I'd like to show you a few movements for the lower body. So maybe consider taking your shoes off for these exercises. It'll definitely feel better. And you might consider helping out the quads by bringing both hands underneath the knee pit to kind of support the leg as you do these exercises. So we'll start with the right leg. Inhale and bring that right leg up. Just let it kind of hover above the earth. And then on the inhale, if you bring the toes towards you, flexing the foot. And on the exhale, you can point the toes towards the earth, extending the foot. Next, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one, inhale. Exhale. Release that right leg to the earth. You're probably gonna feel a little bit of tension in the quad. Give that right leg a rest and we'll bring the left leg up. Inhaling, toes towards you. Exhaling, pointing the toes towards the earth. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale. Exhale, and return the left foot to the earth. We'll take a breath, inhaling and exhaling. And then inhale that right leg up one more time. Just start to roll out, circle the ankle here. Still try to keep the spine nice and long. Make sure you're not collapsing, letting the spine and the shoulders roll forward or arching the back too much. You want a nice straight spine. Okay, reverse your feet in the opposite direction. You can even support underneath the knee, holding with two hands if you like. And relax. And then we'll shift to the left side, inhaling. And just circling the ankle. Okay, reverse, go in the opposite direction. And then relax the left leg. We can slightly move our legs forward and backward, and this is gonna lubricate the knee joints a little bit. So on the inhale, 
and extend that right leg a little bit forward. Exhale, bring the right foot back towards you. Let's inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Two more. Inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale. And the left side. Bring that left leg up off of the earth. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Last one. Inhale and exhale. Release the left leg down. Remember to stand up and take breaks whenever you can. So standing up to go to the lavatory on the airplane, maybe walk a couple times up and down the aisles just to stretch your legs. That's going to be the best movement for your body when you've been sitting for long periods of time. I love to encourage people to get outside and experience nature and practice more yoga and meditation wherever you are. But if you happen to be in Asheville, North Carolina, I'd love to invite you to join us for a yoga hike. In half the day, one of our yoga guides will lead you to an amazing mountain or waterfall view, guide you through meditation and a full yoga practice. We provide mats and take pictures for free that we share afterwards. We welcome individuals, couples, and small groups to join our public hikes every weekend from mid-March to mid-November. Also schedule private yoga hikes are recommended for groups like bachelorette parties, birthday celebrations, and girls weekend getaways. Thank you so much for watching this video. Namaste and have a great day.